All right, we're back for part two of Virgos. And so, like I said, we left off on the Three of Wands, clarified by the Six of Pentacles, which is, you know, I feel like things finally at the end of the month expand into the position and the place that they are supposed to expand into or the place that you've been waiting okay um this does not come without you doing the work virgo in the beginning of the month of may you know the work has to be done um because as we move the energy the energy moves for us and that's how it goes. So you have expansion. The six of pentacles is generosity, giving and receiving. So I don't know, you might have someone coming into your life who is just very generous. Maybe they want to spoil you. Maybe they just want to really spend time on you or they just like want to show you off. It's like the Doja Cat Agora Hills energy. It's like, I want to show you off. I want to show you off. I want to show you off. I almost, I almost, it was cute for a little second. But anyways, let's get into it. Soul family, calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So one thing I do want to say, Virgos, you have a lot of friendship energy coming in this month, in the month of May. So I feel like your friendships will definitely be getting closer. I feel like if you have any toxic ways or any ways that um, you could improve as a friend, then I feel like you are doing that this month in May. Um, and I feel like you're really strengthening and deepening the bonds in your relationships. And you're really figuring out like who's meant to be there, who's not, who's showing up for you. You're seeing who's showing up for you. And you're really, you know, solidifying these people into your life. Um, and I feel like that's a great thing. It's very important. So let me read from the book real quick. It says soul family. Soul family. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. The thighs will not let any outfit leave. The thighs said you cannot live here. Okay. It is time to call in your soul family and support team. People who get you at a soul level. People who are the same kind of weird as you. People who are your chosen family. They are coming and they are looking for you. So, yes, you're calling. Excuse me. <laughs> you're calling in your soul tribe. This month in May, if you haven't found them yet, this is a sign that they are close by. But in order for them to find you and recognize you when they do, it's important that you stop dimming your light and truly let yourself be seen. I feel like you're making it a huge effort to socialize and be with your friends and show up for your friends this month in May. Um, and your friends are also reciprocating that energy back to you. If you have already found them, then you are being called to let them support you and perhaps also assemble a wider support team. Your support team can consist of all types of people, such as a therapist, coach, mentor, or healer. Tune into what kind of support you need now. And so the action says calling your support team now. So Virgo, I definitely feel like there's a need for you to reach out to people and ask for support this month. You know, if you need assistance, if you need help with anything, you know, it's a great time to let down your guard and be more vulnerable with these people and say, you know what, look, I do need help. I'm, I'm not perfect. I am the strong friend, but also the strong friend needs help as well. So that's an energy that's present for Virgos. Um, the next card says Council of Light. Let's see what they have for Council of Light. I don't want to brag about it. It says, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. The Council of Light is a team of benevolent beings who are here to assist the raising of consciousness of the planet. They are here to help you achieve your soul mission and are guiding you every step of the way. However, because we live in a world where free will reigns, they cannot help you without your permission. If you would like their assistance, it is time to ask them. So I'm also hearing that your angels and your guides are very, very close on your body this month in May. So you have to give them permission to step in and help you this month. So um, it, it's asking, yea, shall receive. If you don't ask, you know, then honestly, they will just watch you struggle because they're not allowed to step in unless you give them permission um, because we have free will. So 
It's not like they're going to see you struggling and be like, oh my goodness, she's struggling. I should step in. It's like, no, that's not a thing. If you're struggling, you need to ask for help and assistance from your guides, your angel guides, your ancestors, the ascended masters, spirit, uh, higher self, source, creator, God, Buddha, Allah, whoever. Ask for assistance, please. Okay, um, they can help with all kinds of requests. Nothing is too big or too small. Think of them as your personal team of helpers in the spirit realm. They are willing and ready to step in and get to work. What would you like help with? What tasks would you like to delegate to them? And matter of fact, I got some things. Uh, <laughs> the Council of Light is a team of ascended masters, light beings, angels, and guides devoted to the rising of earth in all humanity. If you are a light worker, it is from them that you receive your personal mission, like a spirit world, United Nations. They want to thank you so much for doing this work and devoting your life to uplifting the planet. Pray to them for clarity and guidance regarding your personal mission. Put in your requests and let them get to work. Ciao. Oh, Star Mother. We have one more, guys. We have one more. There it is. And it says... It says, how can you mother yourself? And this goes along with a lot of the patterns, a lot of the self-limiting beliefs that we're releasing this month in May. And it goes hand in hand with mothering yourself um, because this is, it's a wound. It's a wound that stems from somewhere. And honestly, more than likely, that's where it stems from. So this is the medicine that they want to give you, Virgo, in the month of May. It says, you are more held than you can possibly imagine. Loved and cherished so dearly that if you knew, you would not spend one second of your life in separation, worry, or fear. Let the mother carry your burdens. Let her rock away your fears. Lay all of your worries, regrets, shame, and guilt on her altar. Please, please, sweet child, do not fear. Lay all, mm, 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 mm. you are love in motion. If you allow it, you are already healed. Healing, it's a big grand healing month for Virgo placements. Um, let her remind you of your goodness. Let her love away your fears. Whatever you're feeling trapped about, you're feeling afraid, you're feeling fearful, you're afraid to make the jump, you're afraid to move forward because you're thinking of everything that could go wrong. Well, why would your first, you need to change your first instinct from being to thinking of everything that could go wrong and change your instincts, instinct to being, let me think of everything that could go right for me. Let me change my disposition to life. Why do I always choose to engage the negative first immediately instead of making a conscious choice to embrace the positive immediately? Think of everything that could go right. Stop thinking. You have a choice. You can choose. Would you rather think about everything that could go wrong or would you rather think about everything that could go right? What do you think would bring you more beneficial results if you thought about everything that could go right? Okay. It says, your capacity to love and hold others is limited to your capacity to love and hold yourself. Be compassionate with your sweet body, mind, and soul. Treat yourself like the beautiful spirit that you truly are. Remind yourself that you are doing your best and try not to carry it all on your own. You've got this and the mother has got you. Let her broad arms take away your burdens. Let her lift the weight of the world off your shoulders. Forgive yourself, my dear sweet child of earth. How can you mother yourself? Listen to my nephew. He loves me. Friendship. Confidence. Sensuality. This month specifically, Virgos, you're gaining a lot of um, confidence in your friendship with others. You're gaining a lot of confidence in yourself. And you're feeling very sensual you could be just um indulging into your feminine energy this month even divine masculines you could just be feeling very strong and powerful this month you could be just feeling very much in charge very much in alignment and you could just be attracting like divinely feminine women and you just feel that magnetic power that you have 
surging through your body and it's just making you to feel sensual but all around i feel like good vibes this month definitely a lot of shedding and letting go to do but it's not an issue you're gonna get there virgo